Welcome to Science Gal Aquatics, I'm Carrie. And in today's video, well today I want you to meet Lucy and she's a fish I have never seen before. So stay tuned. Welcome to Science Gal Aquatics, your place for guppy love and more. Sharing the good, the bad, and the unexpected adventures of fish keeping. Let the show start in three, two, one. Enjoy. So I do have to say that this did happen a month and a half ago. There has been some time since this all took place and it all started with an innocent trip to my local fish store. I wanted some company so I took my better half Jessie and we went on a journey to our local fish store. And if I remember right, I just needed blood worms or some kind of fish food for the fish room but I have never seen him walk in and react to a new species like this before. And even though I don't ever recommend going out and purchasing fish that you know nothing about, that you honestly just never knew existed till you walked in the fish store that day, I don't recommend it. But I do have to say on my behalf, again, Jesse has never just instantly fell in love with a fish like this before. And it was just love at first sight between him and Lucy. And the fish store owner did come up to me and say there was a couple other people interested, but he really preferred me to purchase her. He knew I would do everything in my power to make her happy. So of course I said yes. And because it was not available there, I did go and purchase a 40 gallon breeder and marine salt because even though Lucy is sold as a freshwater lionfish fresh water she is not so I went out gathered the supplies I needed and I let this cycle for a week before I even thought about going back to pick her up and I did follow their directions to the letter I trusted them more than anything I knew so I did let this cycle for a week and the acclimation process is something I've done but it's been a long time since I drip acclimated anything so I want to take you back show you the setup and that acclimation process but make sure you are subscribed to Science Gal Aquatics and if you have any tips any advice any knowledge on keeping freshwater lionfish please leave it down in the comments below. It is much appreciated. So let me go show you that setup, the acclimation, and make sure you stay tuned to the very end because I wanna share with you some knowledge I've learned and some things I've noticed along the way. So let's go meet Lucy. Here's what Lucy looked like at the local fish store. And if I recall correctly, I believe she was in a 20 high aquarium. Personally, I think she's adorable, kind of resembling a frog, but I don't think I'm alone. This species is otherwise known as a freshwater frogfish, a freshwater stonefish, a three-spined frogfish, or even sometimes being referred to as a toadfish. And there are many more common names. This is what the new 40 gallon breeder looked like after a week. I did use some recycled gravel sand mix as substrate and the filter I added has been in the silver arowana tank, which I decided to go ahead and keep in this tank even after upgrading the filter, which make sure you are subscribed to Science Gal Aquatics because I really need to update you on what's been going on with my largest aquarium. I just got back from picking up Lucy at the fish store and I am really excited, a tad bit nervous, but I have never gotten this much stuff from the fish store before. Look at this, four buckets worth of stuff. But I did go ahead in this bag right here, I went ahead and picked up the driftwood piece and the plant that was in the aquarium at the fish store. I wanna to try to keep her as stress-free and comfortable as possible but she is in this one right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and start the drip acclimation process. I wanna get this started as soon as I can cause it will take a little bit, but I'm just really excited. But let's just go get this started. 
I did want to mention really quick that while Lucy is drip acclimating, I am going to do a water change on the aquarium. And instead of refilling it with my water, I am going to refill it with the water that they sent home with me. This did come from the tank at the fish store, but I'm going to do this exactly like they told me to do. And then in here is the driftwood piece in the plant from the aquarium that I'm just gonna go ahead and add in right now. But I am gonna go ahead and start that siphon on the drip acclimation on Lucy, which is in here. Again, remember this is a brackish aquarium and I was instructed to make the specific gravity of this tank as close to 1.012 as possible. I slowly added salt to a bucket and let it dissolve over several minutes before pouring it back into the tank and I also let quite a bit of time pass before each testing which I did every few refills till everything was registering right. I just took my time. I added about two thirds cup of marine salt to each bucket in the beginning and then I slowly tapered off to one fourth cup per bucket, but I'm not exactly sure how much it took in the end and I do regret not writing it down. I just again dissolved salt into a bucket before adding it into the tank and I tested it every few refills until it was where it was supposed to be and then I also tested a couple of times throughout the week just to make sure everything was still reading correctly and just prior to adding Lucy. For the drip acclimation process, I did have some trouble in the beginning with it either being too fast or too slow. But in the end, I think I got it just right. And I did end up letting Lucy drip acclimate for about an hour. For this acclimation process, I did end up using a couple of feet of airline tubing, a small clip which did help slow down the drip, and a couple small suction cups. While Lucy was acclimating, I went ahead and started the water change. And even though I do not normally water change like this, I went ahead and stuck to the directions I was given. And so I ended up removing about 50% of the water and refilling it with water from the fish store. Again, this species can be found in mangrove estuaries, but can be in coastal waters as well as reefs. Again, I was strongly advised to keep Lucy in a specific gravity of 1.012, but in doing research, I found that a specific gravity closer to the full salt spectrum of 1.02 through 1.024 is recommended for long-term care. I have personally noticed that if I'm a little heavy-handed with the marine salt during the water changes, Lucy does seem to be more active and not always hiding under the log. It was time after the water change was done and the acclimation process was over and the salinity test was A-OK, -okay, it was finally time to add Lucy.
have known about the saltwater lionfish and have had opportunities to see them in person, but I have never heard of the freshwater lionfish and I am so excited to be able to have the chance to care for one and share the whole journey with you. Having the correct water parameters in the aquarium is vital to the longevity of the health of this species, but there were other aspects to her environment that I needed to pay attention to. Capable of camouflaging into her environment, from what I understood, it is extremely important to provide a gravel substrate with plenty of ways to hide. She loves to be under the driftwood, but rock caves and plants, whether live or artificial, will work too. I just personally chose to go with artificial. This species is stealthy and will hide out almost all of the time waiting for food to pass by, so again providing them with plenty of hideouts is crucial. Mentioning food, Lucy is a carnivore and an ambush predator. In the wild, their diet consists of waiting for anything to pass by that will fit in their mouth. And considering their head and mouth is the largest part, they have quite the long list of things to choose from. Other fish, crabs, shrimp, again, anything they are just able to catch. Here at the house, I was feeding whatever I could get from the local fish store on a weekly basis, mainly trying to stick to minnows. However, there was a couple weeks there where all they had was goldfish. And even though it's not necessarily my favorite food, due to the fact of how goldfish do metabolize, I do feel like it was better than nothing. Lately though, since not being able to leave the house, I have been dipping into the outside koi pond for some homegrown rosy red minnows. I've tried blood worms, I just haven't had any luck so far, but I have been putting three to four rosy red minnows in Lucy's tank weekly, and she will slowly eat them throughout the week. So it wasn't too long after bringing Lucy home from the fish store that I did notice something along the top of her head. I assumed it was some kind of worm, but since I wasn't exactly sure what it was, I didn't treat for anything specific. But I did up my water changes, I did raise the temperature on the aquarium heater slightly, and it did take some time, but it did slowly disappear. Something interesting that I did learn from the local fish store about the freshwater lionfish is that Lucy will make a sound much like a bullfrog during the spring breeding season. And I will try my absolute hardest to capture this for you. And I was also told that the freshwater lionfish were venomous. However, after doing some reading, it looks like they aren't necessarily venomous, but if you do touch the spikes along the head and body, it will not feel good, and it will give you a pretty bad sting.
On a side note, I was told that Lucy was a female. I honestly have no idea how to tell the males from the females in the freshwater lionfish. It was part of the deal though that if I wanted to take Lucy home that I had to keep her name. I also wanted to say that I do find it super cute when she uses, I believe it's her pelvic fins. It seems like she uses them as arms to hold on to things and to balance with. And it might be a coincidence, but it does seem like she's the most active in the very early hours of the morning, right before the sun comes up. Make sure you subscribe to Science Gal Aquatics and that bell notification is clicked because you will want to stay updated on all of Lucy's progress. And if you have any advice or tips on freshwater lionfish or just brackish aquariums in general, feel free to share it down below. But until next time, I'll see you in the comments. Thanks for watching. Enjoy!